it is a time like none of us have seen before. A time where we are seeing amazing innovation taking place all around the globe. But the reality is you see a ton of innovation taking place all around Asia. And you can see there are a bunch of them that are taking place in China, in India, in South Korea, ASEAN, and so on. If you think what's going on in China and India is cheap knockoffs, is cheap replicas of what exists, you're missing the story. There is real innovation taking place there. And it's not just among the startups. We've done a number of global research reports to identify large organizations that are following the pattern of dual transformation. COVID does not stop history, right? If any region of the world is going to continue to grow on the back of demographics, urbanization, digitization, it is your, your uh, smaller Asian neighboring countries here. These countries that have enjoyed, you know, constant high net inflows of foreign investment, that have had big trade surpluses, you know, large currency reserves, uh, that's over. It's push and it's pull push factor is the incentives that are created uh, for Australian business to go abroad, whether it is export credits, uh, whether it is some of the kind of, you know, a, a pool investment schemes. And on the pull side, it's one of the opportunities that countries are creating for joint ventures, opening up to foreign invest in, investment, lifting foreign ownership caps and restrictions uh, in the local market that reduces political risk. So that encourages more joint ventures. And I do think that the wind should be at your sort of sails. I think there is an opportunity for Australia to become a truly global digital economy with economies of scope and scale as we pivot, because you can scale a lot of these digital technologies far more effectively, even when you're in isolated geographical locations. For Australia, you know, there's a lot of enabled countries at our doorstep. So we're very fortunate that, that there's some learning from Singapore, for example, there's learning from Korea and other markets, but also the US, where there's been this pivot to digital and there's been an investment into digital, not only because they can see a return on investment, but because of the difference it can make um, when you actually have a digitally enabled uh, environment. Um, and if you can accelerate that, and if you can accelerate that more than, than other places in the world, and you can make yourself much more attractive for innovators to come to Australia and for investment to come to Australia, then we have a, an enormous opportunity in the region, I think, to make a real difference. Music